One form of torture used in China is a device called the Tiger Bench. This works by placing a prisoner on a long bench with a board against their back and head. The prisoner is then tied down so their back is secured to the board and their feet and legs are secured to the bench. Pricks are placed under their feet until all the straps holding the legs down break or the prisoner's legs snap before the straps do. One form of torture often used by the Syrian government against the rebels is called the German chair. When a detainee is captured, they are placed in a metal chair. Their legs and arms are secured to the metal seat, while the back of the chair is pulled back and down toward the ground. This causes severe stress on the spine, neck and other limbs, often causing permanent damage. In the 1960s, doctors at the Tucker State Prison Farm in Arkansas began using a torture device on some of the more unruly prisoners that became known as the Tucker Telephone. The device worked by placing a ground wire around the big toe of a prisoner while fastening another wire, the hot wire, to the prisoner's genitals. The telephone, which had been modified to send electric shocks, was then cranked sending electricity right to the family jewels. And sometimes it wasn't just a turn of the crank and done. In prison terms, a long distance phone call meant the prisoner would be shocked repeatedly. The Tucker telephone was finally banned in the 1970s. This form of torture was used heavily during the Renaissance, but it seems to have experienced a resurgence during the last century. A prisoner is hung by their arms, which are fastened behind their head, causing the arms to be slowly wrenched from the shoulder sockets by the weight of the body. When the prisoner finally becomes so tired they cannot hold themselves upright, their bodies fall forward and their breathing is impaired. One of the last known cases of the United States using this form of torture was in 2003. Waterboarding is a form of water torture in which water is poured over a cloth covering the face and breathing passages of an immobilized captive, causing the individual to experience the sensation of drowning. Waterboarding can cause extreme pain dry drowning, damage to lungs, brain damage, other physical injuries, lasting psychological damage and death. Known simply as the CAT, this is a truly horrifying torture device. Essentially a multi-tailed whip, its claws can inflict vicious parallel wounds. Sometimes little metal balls with spikes are even added to the ends of the cords to make it even more excruciating. While use of the cat dates back to ancient Egypt, it is still used as a form of punishment in Trinidad and Tobago, even after the Inter-American Court of Human Rights ordered the country to pay a convicted rapist $50,000 after whipping him with a device. This form of torture is often used by the Syrian government. Prisoners are taken to hidden rooms containing a box far too small for a person to lie in. The prisoner is then put in the box and forced to lie in uncomfortable positions for long periods, with their hands and feet bound. To make things even worse, the box is tilted on its side and also elevated, so every time food, usually a hard-boiled egg, is dropped into the box, it rolls to the bottom where it sits taunting the detainee. White torture may be the worst kind of torture. It is a form of emotional and physiological torture. Instead of beating the person, electrocuting them or keeping them in a small box, they are tormented with sensory deprivation and isolation. The victim is thrown into a room that is completely white. They are clothed in white and everything they get is white, even their food. They are also forced to keep silent. Because of the sensory deprivation, 
the person starts to hallucinate, eventually driving him mad. One of the victims said, the worst part of the white torture is never being free, even after being released. <laughs> 